So welcome everyone. Uh, let's start the webinar today. The topic we'll be covering is introducing you for module. And for that topic, we have Shahadat with us today. He's our software engineer who is working on this QForm project. And throughout the webinar, you may or may not have lots of questions. Please feel free to shoot them in the chat box of the Zoom. And we'll be answering them in the Q&A session after the whole webinar. So, Shahadat, are you ready? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our today's Give from webinar. Uh, this is Shahadat Hussain, software engineer at AppScud. Uh, today, I will introduce you Give from module, uh, which basically gives the Terraform module support in Give form. So, here are the table of contents that I'm going to cover today. First of all, I will talk about the Give form and its brief overview. Uh, then we will discuss about Terraform module support in QForm by QForm module. And after that, I will move to the demo where we will see a hands-on demo of QForm module. And finally, there will be a question and session where I will try to answer all of your queries. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask in the Zoom chat. I will get back to them in the question and session. So let's talk about QForm. Qform by AppScode is a Kubernetes controller for provisioning and managing cloud or on-prem resources using a Terraform providers. Uh, Qform provides Kubernetes CRDs for Terraform resources so that you can manage any cloud infrastructure in a Kubernetes anywhere. Qform is built on Terraform, so you can rely on Qform as much as you rely on Terraform. As we know, Terraform is a very mature technology, so you can rely on both very efficiently. Uh, you just write a CRD for your cloud infrastructure and then apply it and QForm will manage your infrastructure according to your op operations. So Q QForm is uh, fully GitOps ready. That means you can store your custom resources in a Git repo and use CICD pipeline like GitHub Actions and can automate the infrastructure managing portion. So these are the brief overview of QForm and the features. So currently QForm supports almost more than 25 cloud providers, which cover almost all the top cloud providers. Some of the top cloud providers are given here, uh, like AWS, Google Cloud, Azure, DigitalOcean, Linode, Equinix Metal, and many more. Sivo is also there. Uh, you can visit to our GitHub organization at github.com slash QForm uh, to see all the cloud providers that QForm currently supports. So now let's talk about QForm module. Uh, QForm module basically supports the Terraform modules. It, it came to support uh, the Terraform modules. So now we can generate the QForm module definition. Uh, QForm module definition we are going to see in details in a bit. So we can generate the QForm module definition uh, from existing Terraform modules using QForm CLI. And those QForm module definitions are basically used from QForm module object as a reference of module. Uh, during the generation of, of module uh, QForm module definition, you just need to provide the uh, GitHub repo of respective Terraform uh, modules and we currently support both the public and private repos for generating QForm module definition. Basically, now you can use your private GitHub repos where you define your module uh, Terraform modules, and you can also use public repos as well as. So, for private repo, you need to provide your personal access token, which will be stored in a Kubernetes secret. Uh, basically, that uh, from that we are going to use that personal access token. Uh, to uh, you know the, uh, to communicate to the github private repos so that's all about the qform module in a short so now let's understand the workflow how qform module works so initially qform module controller is installed uh, let's suppose is installed in a kubernetes cluster and now let's suppose users came and want to use Terraform modules uh, written by official Terraform registry or even by themselves. 
then uh, at first they what they need to do is uh, need to generate Q from module definition using our Q from CLI, uh, which supports uh, gen module command. Uh, I will also show that in a later part. So now uh, here we just only uh, talk about this uh, in in a high level overview in details that we are going to see uh, within a very short time. So after creating the Qform module definition, then user can create a Qform module object that basically uh, will refer that Q4, generated Qform module definition as a reference of module basically, uh, which, which where the Terraform module resources or the configurations are there. So after the creation of uh, Qform module object, uh, the, our Qform module controller will take it and re start reconciling it. And then it will just eventually create object delete or uh, manage the cloud infrastructure uh, from the cloud end. And basically this is how Qform module works. Okay, now uh, let's see the configurations file for Qform module uh, in Terraform. Uh, configuration also we'll see uh, the Q4 module configuration. So this uh, this is the Terraform configuration for a module uh, named AWS S3 module as simple. And we are using that module. You can see the source is given here source basically uh, referencing the mode where the module definitions are there and it is a local file. And also the this fields like bucket force destroy they are the they are the like the values that are going to pass into that module definition you know uh, so it is basically the name of the bucket because it is uh, aws s3 bucket the modules are basically based on aws s3 bucket and you can see the provider name aws the access key vision and so the secret key that means the credentials are need to be given there and also the in the terraform block the required providers aws and its source is also given so this is the configuration for using a module which source is given here. So now we are going to see the exact uh, same thing for Qform module. This is the Qform module uh, configuration. This is a Qform module object. You can see its name also the same as AWS S3 module sample. And under the spec.resource.input, it basically storing uh, the fields that are going to uh, pass to the our respective uh, Q4 module. So the, you can see the bucket and also the force destroy is also given there. And in the spec the module def, it is basically uh, referencing the module definition that we have generated. I was talking about it that we are going to generate a Q4 module definition from this uh, so like this source path of by re uh, by reading that uh, Q4, uh, Terraform modules. And there are, and also we'll have lots of more other fields we are going to see in a bit. So that module definition also need to be uh, referred in the spec .module def of our queue for module object. So in the provider ref, it is basically referencing a Kubernetes secret which holding the our respective provider cloud provider credentials. You can see this one is the AWS credential secret which is exactly holding the same credentials as uh, in the Terraform configurations. So uh, these are the module configuration. Now, uh, this, if, if I want to show the module definition that I was talking about it, this is the module definition uh, for the public repos. You know, we are, we are going to generate for both the public repos and also the, from the pub, private repos, uh, the queue for module definition. This is for the public repos. And this is for the private repos. Uh, here there are fields that is omitted also. I'm going to share, uh, show all of them in details. So now uh, in a bit, uh, let's uh, head back to demo because if we, I need to just, uh, we are going to use, uh, you can uh, see this. Uh, we are going to use a private uh, module, uh, like it is storing in a private repo. So we are basically gonna do that because uh, it is also exactly the same as the pub public repo. Now we are, today we are going to see the private repo. So for private repo, this is the module configurations and it takes a bit time. That's why I'm going to apply it before. I am going to describe all of the things in details in a bit. So 
here uh, this these are my terminals and you can see this uh, in this left part i am i am currently in this directory manifest directory i am going to apply the q module and also if i show you q module definitions they are already applied module def private and module def public these are the these two so they are already applied uh, they will be referenced from this module def so and my if i show you that the like from this terminal i can show you the our in our key for module system namespace you can see the controller key for module controller is running currently and you can see all the uh, secrets you can see the respective secrets that i have been, like the aws credentials that i was showing you this one and also the generated secret that i'm going to also show you in a bit which basically holds the our uh, personal access token of github uh, that token so these are all applied so now let's apply our this uh, aws s3 bucket module sample so let's apply it from here it is it takes a bit time that's why i'm applying it and in the meantime i will describe it to you uh, other stuff like how to generate module definition how to what is module definition in details i will show them so let's apply it uh, in the right upper terminal i am basically seeing the status of that uh, uh, condition, status conditions of our kifo module and in the right below terminal i am basically watching the status or phase of the kifo module so let's apply it it's created you can see it is in progress so and also the status condition is showing if is currently reconciling the module resource so let's uh, give it time to come it to the current state so here this is our cloud uh, dashboard basically in aws you can see the there is no uh, uh, q4 module named s3 bucket if i refresh it you can see there is no q4 module named but we are going to create a queue for module name bucket basically by using that module that we are referencing. Basically, this one is this. So let's get back to the uh, slide and I'm going to describe it more. It, and here it is in progress. Let's give it time. So basically, what I was talking about queue for module definition. So queue for module definition is basically the uh, like in. Uh, let's get the tip back. Okay, so it it basically uh, read from a GitHub repo, like where the module definitions are stored. Like if I uh, show something like I want to show a repo here, where a module definitions is there. Like you can see, this is a Terraform AWS modules. There's a Terraform AWS S3 bucket. So it is storing in this repository. So here you can see main.tf, output.ts variable and versions are there. So these uh, files are comp compulsory for any Terraform modules. So basically uh, that files, by reading that files, it will generate our Q4 module definition. What that, uh, by how we generate, we will see. It is basically using our Q4 CLI. So here you can see the fields. Uh, basically I have squeezed a bit in the schema. It, it will be shown in our, from our, uh repository in a letter so the the fields are basically in the spec dot module ref we are we have a git this this one is for public repository though those terraform modules who are in our public repository so you can see in the gate ref it is basically referencing the github repository and in the provider it is uh taking the uh, our respective cloud provider name and also the source and in the schema in the schema, it will hold the basically the schema of the Terraform modules. Uh, it is basically for the validation because uh, of our Q4 module resource. You know. So this one is for the public repo, and, let, and this one is uh, in the right side, or is for the private repo. Here you can see uh, extra field is there under the Git grid. It is basically holding a name and namespace, which is uh, referencing a Kubernetes secret. Which secret? The secret that has been, it is also 
uh, generated or created during the module definition creation generation by our QFUN CLI. Uh, basically, we when we generate module definition, uh, we provide the uh, token, personal access token as a flag. And that time our module QFUN CLI will generate module definition as well as also if that is coming from a private repo, it will also generate a Kubernetes secret and uh, referenced it in the under the spec dot module ref dot git dot create. So these are the basically the standard uh, schema is is specification of Q4 model definition. So I as I've already applied it because it take a bit time for the convenience. I hope you understand. So uh, in the background is it is applying. It is also in currently in progress. So for the demo you know we have already started the demo basically because we have applied it it will create aws as i said as three uh, bucket and also the bucket policies so that's why it takes time so now uh, for the de uh, installation details the the key from module controller you can uh, get, uh, head back to our official key from provide uh, key from site and also for the uh, license you can visit our license server here are the links given. So now uh, the point is coming that I was talking again and again. We can generate a uh, model definition from our QFM CLI. So the command, uh, the, the CLI can be installed by these commands. And also you can head back to the QFM uh, site for the details installation uh, of our QFCTL plugin that is QFM CLI. So I have already installed in my machine and for generating from CLI is basically gives you a gen module command, which generates uh, the, our Terraform module definition, uh, Q4 module definition from Terraform modules from any GitHub repository. So it, uh, this is the command. You can use this command and there are a couple of in the, after the gen module, you just need to give the module name. And if I show you from, this basically the module name prefers this one you know this is the generated uh, it is for private repo and this one is for private public repo so there are a couple of uh like flags like in uh, there is a directory where the generated module references will be stored and there is a flag called source it is basically the github links and you need to also give the provider name and also the provider source Again, if I I'll just compare it with that, like you can see schema part, let's squeeze it. This the provider name and provider source also need to be given uh, during the uh, QFM model definition uh, generation. So, and also there's a, another flag called apply, which basically you can give true or false. By default, it's false. It basically means that uh, the generated QFM model definitions, whether need to be applied or not. If you give it true, then it will be generated and also be applied. Otherwise, you can apply by yourself in later. So this is for public repository. Uh, that means where the in uh, the Terraform module, module configurations that are st stored in a Git public repository. And this one is for private repository. Here you can see a couple of more flags like uh, common flags. These are uh, token, secret namespace, and cube config. This three years uh, like not in public repository uh, command. So token means your GitHub personal access token and secret namespace basically the generated uh, Kubernetes secret that will be that will hold that token uh, that is uh, the namespace of that secret. And also the kube config it is optional and you can give it or we basically read from the uh, our home paths you know the slash dot cube slash config. And this is for private repository. After this command, it will like uh, generate the module definitions that I am showing here. This to public and private repository module for module definitions are generated by this command. So let's see whether it is yeah our uh, form module that we have applied is already came in the current state. So if we get uh, this AWS S3 module sample. Uh, you can see the applied module was this one. So it's name also AWS S3 module and the bucket given is module, KIFO module and also force gesture given is false. So let's see in our 
uh, I'll show you the spec. You can see module def name. It is referencing the module def private, uh, which is basically this one, module def. And also the provider ref is referencing the AWS credentials and under the resource, spec.resource in input, it is storing the uh, value of bucket and force desktop. And I'm describing, going to describe the other fields. So, so you have seen on the, uh, let's see in the cloud dashboard, whether the key from a module created that uh, key from uh, uh, AWS S3 bucket. Uh, yeah, it, you can see there is a key from module bucket has been created by our key from module. So it has been created successfully. Now, uh we are going to uh like let it give update it as it has created successfully just changing the first desktop field from false to true and in the meantime i will describe other fields as well as this applied yeah it configured and it is in progress again in progress so you can see uh there are a couple of other fields has been integrated here in this we only have spec.resource.input but you can see in the YML, there is an output field also integrated in the spec dot resource dot output. So there is basically the, uh, you can, uh, if you know about Terraform module, it basically storing the Terraform module outputs that defined in the Terraform module configurations where you Terraform module configuration is stored. So it is in the output field of our Terra spec dot resource dot output. And in the spec dot resource dot state, uh, spec dot state sorry uh, we basically stored the terraform dot tf state file which uh, basically like uh, we stored it by uh, encoding it's, it's it can have sensitive information that's why we used encode and stored it in encoding so it is a very important feature for because you know it's it's very crucial for the ter terraform dot tf state files is very important because it holds the credentials so these are the like uh, two fields that has been integrated after creating the Terraform module. So it is also currently in progress. Let's give it more time. And in the meantime, let's see the other field that we uh, that we have generated. Like you can, I have described the Git create and also the provider. But in the schema, I told you guys that it basically the schema of the Terraform module. So it in the schema dot input and also you can see schema dot output. Uh, this and this in these two fields, uh, the output fields that I was talking about here. This this values are came from output. So it is like defined in the Terraform module configuration. So the that output fields are uh, like parsed from there and it stored it here. It's basically because of validation, okay, and also the for the referencing. And in the input, the input fields that is like variables.tf, these are the stored here, you know, these are the fields that uh, are in the Terraform module configuration. So this is the basically the module definitions. This is private and in this is public. So the difference between private and public is like only the uh, this grid, uh, git dot grid, where we uh, in the public, we don't give the token in the private, we give it to our Qfirm CLI before uh, during the generation. We also see we're going to apply and uh, see the command uh, in a bit. And uh, by this way, we basically generate this module definition and module uh, reference that uh, module definition in, from its spec dot module def. So yeah, our uh, update has been also done because it has come to the current phase. And if we see, you can see the update has been done. How can we? She make sure whether it is true or not. You can see, and the spec dot resource dot input the force destroy becomes true. It was before it was false. You can see before it was false. So this is our update and also the uh, deletion. Uh, sorry, update and also the creation we have seen. So let's delete it. Delete the resource. You can see the cloud dashboard and let's refresh it. You can see the Q4 module is there. So now if I delete it, it will be in terminating phase uh, very soon. 
Yeah, it is currently in being is being deleted. Yeah, it gets it gets into terminating state phase. So uh, it also uh, let's give it to the let's give it time to de get deleted, and in the meantime, let's get into this our. So mm, sorry. So this was the private visit. In the meantime, let's see how we generated our module definitions. Uh, let's see an example, like. Okay, let's take it because it is a bit smaller. Let's copy it. And as I am currently in this terminal, I'm currently basically in this manifest repository. So let's like create a, another terminal from it. Fish. Let's create it and let's come uh, one step above and let's apply it. Now you can see, I hope you can see the command. Yeah, it's got deleted. You can see it's got, it's gone. And also before that command applied, let's see here whether it's gone or not. Yeah, you can see the key for module S3 bucket has been gone. So now let's see how we uh, generated basically. Yeah. How we generated uh, these two files, you know. So if we, yeah, this is the command. Uh, let's uh, like make it bigger. So this is the command that we are given the gen module command, and also this is the name that public. Let's like change this name public to because we already have a public. Uh, though it is not in the same directory still and the directory is like the, the current directory and also the source has been given and also the provider name and also the provider source also given so let's apply it yeah showing an arrow why If serial KF, then module. Oh, still. Let's add a bit. We are in the current CLI. So let's just again install it and then yeah, now let's see it. Whether it is, I shouldn't build it here. I should build it basically here. So let's again get back to our this repository. Showing a big problem here. We're working at the time. Yes. why it is showing a problem but we have generated the same thing here like if we do it here yeah it is generating maybe there i was missing something let's see here i have applied this command and it should generate in this yeah you can see it generated uh this is you can see this is exactly same as i generated before module dev public it is also named module dev public because i give it the same name didn't change it and directory was one step above and then manifest so you can see everything generated same so this is how you generate and also for private repo you just give, need to give your uh, token secret namespace and also the config 
So this is all about our Qfo module and you can do the same thing like exactly applying you, you can refer the public module def and do the same thing it will obviously gonna work so this is the hands-on demo of q4 module so uh, thank you and if you have any question please feel free to ask uh, i'm gonna clarify those questions do anyone have any question or are you guys all understood? It seems the demo was too elaborate, so no one okay. has anything to ask. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And if you guys, we currently basically give the support for uh, referencing from the GitHub repository, and we have plan. And also, if you guys have any other recommendation like referencing from S3 bucket or volume mounting, please feel free to uh, contact with us. We are going to add those supports as well as. Thank you.